Hello dear students, welcome back. Uh, day before yesterday we were talking about the definitions given by different experts of economics. So today we'll be talking about the very important topic, the economic problem. So I'm going to write down the topic, the economic problem. Now before going in detail regarding this question, I want to ask you a question, a couple of the questions. Do you know what does it mean by need? Or what does it mean by want? So first look at this need. If I ask you the question what does it mean by need, it will give me the answer properly. Need is something which is essential for living, without which we cannot survive, right? If I ask you what does it mean by want, you might give me the answer, desire, right? Wants are, are our desires. My second question would be, if I ask you to list down your need, so what is in your needs list? You might give me the answer like food, which is essential for the living, number one. Number two, clothes. Number three, shelter etc. This is the needs list of any common, common person, common individual. So if I ask you what is in your wants list, you can give me the answer like a uh, luxurious life, you can give me the answer like a wonderful car, life, right? A wonderful house, luxurious house or foreign travels, foreign travels etc. You can give me the list. So this might be the list of any one, any, any of the individual around the globe wants. So ma, if I ask you the question, you all, all the items which are in your wants list are fulfilled, you might give me the answer no. If yes, then you might be very rich. I guess it's quite impossible to, you know, fulfill all these wants or desires. If you fulfill one, then the other want reappears. This is the uh, quality of the want. So, what is the problem? The problem is every individual has unlimited wants, right? We have unlimited wants. Then, in order to satisfy these wants, we do not have enough resources. So, we have limited resources. Here this problem occurs. When you are, your resources are limited, these limited resources are economic problem. Right? So when we have these, you get the situation is considered as scarcity. Right? So scarcity is the situation or economic problem is the situation of unlimited wants and limited resources. So what to do? There might be any solution. So, in this point of concern, choice is necessary. We need to go and choose. So, this is the only solution of scarcity, or this is the only solution of economic problem. And this choice is necessary means, what does it mean? It means opportunity cost. Right? For example, you have two different products or A and B. You want to buy A but you do not have enough resources to buy that or you do not have enough resources to fulfill this A. A is demand. So you you need to switch towards B. So limited resources doesn't mean one additional point I'm telling you doesn't mean the money but limited resources. Resources actually mean FOPs, factors of production land, labor, capital, entrepreneur, right? So this was all about the economic problem. Uh, we'll be talk talking about the next topic or the new topic in the next video. I hope you understand this concept. Till next time, thank you very much.